Hi, I just wanted to give a little demo of a project I've been working on for the last week as part of the inaugural Asset Jam, which was a very informal game jam that was suggested on Reddit. And the idea was for everyone to use the same art assets to create different games, or even in different genres, whatever they could figure out to do with the assets. And um, as you can see, I decided to make a capture the flag platformer style game with it. And the, the art being used is the uh, platformer art deluxe pack, which was created by Kenny, whose website is kenny.nl, K-E-N-N-E-Y.nl. And the art can also be found on opengameart.org. The, the art assets, the uh, platformer art deluxe pack was made public domain as part of the open bundle which after they raised enough money, a whole bunch of arts and sounds and music became public domain. Um, the, it's a very complete pack of, um, of assets for making platformer games. The background music that you're hearing is also uh, from the open bundle. It's called Chippy Cloud Kid, and it was made by Stratcat. It's a nice little chip tune. Um, I made this game with my own HTML5 game engine. And so it's completely browser based and you can see it's a network too. If I press tab here, you can see that there's two players logged in. I'm on the blue team and there's another guy on the red team. The one on the red team is actually just me and another browser tab, so they won't move too much. Box2D was used for physics and this bridge here, you can see is probably the only notable thing done with physics. It's a bunch of jointed segments attached to each other. The enemies aren't um, synced on the server, but you can kill them Goomba style, so you jump on their heads and then they go away. Might add some particle effects and make it more interesting at some point, but there, you get a little bit of a hop after you fall on them. The spikes damage you, as you can see your health goes away up top. And if you run out of health, you respawn back in your tower. So now the tiles just changed, which means we're on, uh, we're on the other side of the map. It's symmetrical, and so we're approaching the enemy base. And so they have a bridge too, and then we have their tower. Now if you look at the radar, straight above us there's another player, you can see a red dot. And uh, there he is, and he's not moving since he's just idling in another browser tab, but we can push him off the edge there. Um, and we can climb the tower. Everything, there's a network server, and it was, um, and there's enough things synced so that we could actually steal and capture the flag and stuff like that. Now everything was done. I'll go back with the flag. Everything was done over the last week, so making a multiplayer game over a one-week period that you can't do everything, but got enough done so that the basics are working. And um, it's it's generally playable, but a lot really needs to be done and to make the it more accurate to prevent cheating and to add in more of the missing animations and frames. Like like there should be a jump frame right now, and there's not. There should be a hurt frame showing, and there's not. So there's a lot of work that still remains, but. For doing this over one week, I'm pretty happy with the results of how much I was able to get done. And here you can see we can capture the flag. Now the, the game jam was one week long, but I'm going to continue developing this. And if you want to see updates, I'll be putting them at the dev blog at leshylabs.com, which is over at l-e-s-h-y-l-a-b-s.com. And I'll also, under that same name, Leshy Labs on Twitter, I'll be posting occasional updates.